YouTube, what is good? It's your man Ribs from Doing Film Things. So this week we're gonna be printing some medium format images. As you may have seen on Instagram, I recently got a brand new enlarger that can handle medium format negative. So I'm extremely excited. And I've been getting to work and getting to know the enlarger and I think at this point, I'm good to go. So today we're actually gonna print some portraits. These are portraits that I shot about a year ago with a couple friends. And yeah, they were shot on a busted Mamiya 645 1000S. When I say busted, I mean it had a light leak. So you'll see the visible kind of signs of the light leak on the images, but honestly, I don't care. The images are some of my favorite images I've ever made. And therefore I'm gonna print these and I'm actually really curious to see how the light leaks look on the print. I think it's gonna add just a little bit of extra charm. So let's go ahead and jump into the dark room. Breaking news, y'all. So I'm finally going to be selling some prints. This is gonna be a limited time offer because I'm gonna hand print every single one. So I'm gonna open up an Etsy store. You can see the link down below. And it's gonna feature 12 of my favorite kind of images that I've made over the last year and a half or so. And it's gonna be a nice kind of diverse variety of images. I didn't wanna just bombard you with landscape. So it's gonna be a couple images that kind of showcase the different aspects of my life and a couple of my travels as well. So. Go ahead and check out the link below. The store's gonna be open just for one week. And again, that's because I need to hand print all of these orders. So I'm gonna leave the store open for one week. You can place all your orders. I'm gonna close the store and then I'm gonna get to printing. And basically we're doing this worldwide. So no matter where you are, I will try to get you a print if you go ahead and purchase one. So check out the link below. And of course, follow me on Instagram so you can see my journey printing all of these images over the next couple of weeks. Really excited to see what y'all think about these prints. And just one more quick plug, I have to throw it out there, but as you know, I put out a printing guide for home darkroom printing. So if you're interested in that, definitely check out the link below as well so you can check out the offer and see if that course is good for you. Um, I finished my print, that first one. Honestly, it was very straightforward. I did one test print and I saw that I like the kind of shortest exposure on the test print, so I went with that. And in that same exact interval, I actually just changed the colors as well. I figured instead of doing another test print for color, I kind of felt like I knew what was going on. So I just filtered a bit more magenta and filtered a bit more yellow just to remove some of that warmth. And it was just a hint, you know, just to kind of alter it just a bit, but I'm pretty happy where we are. So finish that print, you know, it's not perfect, but I think it has character, especially because of the light leak at the bottom. And that was due to my old camera. So, you know, it's not gonna be perfect no matter how I do it. So I'm gonna leave it as is, and I'm kind of happy where it is. The next print, I'm actually just gonna take a quick gamble. I'm gonna do the exact same setting, same amount of exposure time, leave the colors where they are. And I'm just gonna do that and see if it comes out good. If it comes out good, then I save myself a whole bunch of test exposures and chemicals. If not, then I know where I can tweak a little bit here, but I'm pretty sure it's gonna be very similar because it's from the same day, same location. So let's see what happens. All right, y'all, so I'm super happy with how these prints turned out. You can see them both right here. Basically, I kind of didn't fiddle too much with the settings here because I wanted to make sure that I didn't waste too much paper. And uh, both of the prints gave me really, really good images that I'm really happy with. Obviously, the light leak is in both of the images and it's very obvious, but again, I think that adds to the charm. The best part about this printing session was that I used maybe like five sheets of paper max. Um, and the reason is that I finally have my enlarger settings kind of in a stable place. So. 
The settings of 00 cyan, 70 magenta, and 70 yellow, those kind of give me a really good starting point at F16, where basically I know what to expect from, MEM, from every single image. And once I do get that initial test image, I can very quickly kind of fine tune from there, whether that is changing my exposure just a little bit or fine tuning the colors in kind of any direction. Um, once you print a lot and you kind of get a hang of seeing the colors with your eyes, it becomes very easy for you to figure out in what direction you need to go in. So really happy with where I am with this enlarger as well. But this enlarger is basically a Cadillac. And what I mean by that is it is just a fine kind of well-oiled machine. It feels luxurious, honestly, because my last enlarger did the job, but definitely, you know, wasn't the, the coolest or the sexiest. This one is just amazing. Beautiful wheels that you can spin and like it just moves so smoothly and it's so bright too. The output from the lamp is just crazy. So super, super happy so far. Um, with that said, I want you to tell me what kind of images do you want me to print? You've seen kind of my catalog on here on this channel, but also on Instagram. Which of those images do you want to see? Definitely trying to get some big prints as well. You know, I have some of that big 12 by 16 inch paper as well. So talk to me in the comments. Let me know what you want to see. These prints that I made today, I'm shocked at how much detail you get from them. So if you kind of zoom in and look at just the eyes of the prints here, the amount of detail is staggering. And honestly, I could have gone twice as big probably if I wanted to and still gotten really, really good detail. Printing medium format is just, it's a complete treat, honestly, when you compare it to printing 35. These prints are just dope. There's nothing else I can say about them. All right, Joe, that's what I got for today. Of course, if you enjoyed this video, please go ahead and leave me a like as it really, really helps me. And of course, subscribe. Tell all your friends, tell everybody. Tell them to subscribe to my channel so we can grow, grow, and grow. That's what I got, y'all. Peace.